Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog related content. Liking and sharing our content helps massively with the growth of our channel, so it's very much appreciated. Today's video is all about the Havanese. Havanese Overview The Havanese is growing in popularity as a great family pet. They are a happy dog who loves children, other dogs, and even cats. They are relatively easy to train because they just want to please their family. They are not an overly vocal dog which is surprising since they are a toy breed. However, certain situations can lead them to be yappy but more on that later. This amicable pup does not like to be alone for long periods of time and can suffer from separation anxiety if left alone too long. The Havanese is a high-maintenance dog and requires daily grooming to keep their coat silky smooth. They do not shed much but are not hypoallergenic. Although many people think they are, including some breeders. This spirited pup will make a wonderful addition to your home. Number 1 Havanese Breed History The Havanese was named after Cuba's capital city, Havana. They are a member of the Bichon family which also includes the Coton de Tullier, Bichon Fries, and the Bolognese. The Bichon breeds are thought to have originated in the Mediterranean and then were taken to various parts of the world as people migrated. It is suggested that these friendly pups were brought to Cuba by Spanish settlers sometime during the 18th century. Historians think that the Havanese developed from two breeds, both of which are now extinct. The Bichon Tenerife and the Blanquito de la Habana were small dogs with long, silky hair similar to this pup. There are ship manifests from Tenerife that was bound for Cuba that lists small dogs brought aboard by passengers. A few of these canines made their way into the United States around 1959 when the Cuban Revolution occurred. Refugees brought these little dogs with them into the United States. In 1979, the Havanese Club of America formed with just nine members. In 1996, the American Kennel Club officially recognized him as a member of the toy group. These attractive companions are becoming more and more popular. While the Havanese is a pretty adaptable dog, they thrive in warmer climates such as in the southern United States. They do not do well in cold climates and need to be monitored closely when exposed to colder weather. Number 2 Havanese Breed Appearance The Havanese has a long coat that is silky to the touch. When showing in the conformation ring, there are certain expectations for appearance. Their coat should be soft and light in texture. They have an outer coat and an undercoat. The outer coat should carry slightly more weight than the undercoat. The fur needs to be long and wavy. A frizzy, curly, or wiry coat is not desirable in the ring. The fur should look fluffy but also flow easily with movement. Ideally, the natural lines of the body are seen, not covered up. Puppies will have a softer texture to their fur and it will be shorter. They can come in any color but the most common colors include black, white, fawn, mahogany, tobacco, and Havana brown. Patterns or part colors are also seen. Some of them will have different colored skin and that is also acceptable. Their eyes are sparkly brown and the nose is brown or black. Number 3 Havanese Breed Maintenance The Havanese is a high maintenance dog and does require daily grooming if kept in full coat. When they are in full coat, their hair can grow to 8 inches in length. If they have a full coat, they will need to be brushed daily and also have weekly baths. If they have a puppy cut or the fur is cut short, they will need to be clipped every 6 to 8 weeks and will need a bath every 2 weeks instead of every week. Puppy cuts still require brushing several times each week. They have a coat that will naturally cord or it can also be trained to cord. This look is great for those who do not want to constantly brush their dog. When the coat is allowed to cord, or mat into ringlets, it does not require brushing. The corded coat does require weekly bathing to keep the dog from smelling and to remove any debris and dirt that is being collected. A monthly nail trim and twice weekly tooth brushing are part of the maintenance routine. Number 4 Companion Dogs Havanese are very people-oriented dogs. 
They love snuggling in laps and can be overly dependent on their family members. They don't do well at all when left for long periods of time without companionship. This can lead to unhappiness and boredom, which they may try to vent through barking and destructive chewing. Number 5 Havanese Training Ability Havanese do have an independent streak, but they are not a dominant breed. They respond well to training that includes food rewards and they especially love learning tricks. Many individuals excel in competitive obedience and agility. The most problematic training issue is housebreaking. Some Havanese can be slow to house train but not all. Barking needs to be curtailed, as well. Many Havanese like to perch on the high back of a sofa or chair, looking out the window so they can announce visitors. Number 6 Their Unique Coat The Havanese coat is thick but silky, soft, and light, and it doesn't shed easily. The coat is long and ranges from straight to curly, although wavy is considered ideal for the show ring. Many owners clip the Havanese coat short to make it easier to care for. But if you show your Havanese, or just want to look like you do, you'll have to keep it long, and should expect to do a lot of grooming. When kept long, the coat needs daily brushing to prevent mats from forming, and frequent baths to keep it clean. In general, it's wise to keep the hair above the eyes tied up to prevent irritation, it looks cute, too. Unless you're highly motivated and skilled, you're probably better off with a professional groomer. Owners can learn to groom their dogs, but it takes a dedicated person to keep this breed's coat in good shape. Number 7 Havanese Allergies In humans, an allergy to pollen, mold, or dust makes people sneeze and their eyes itch. In dogs, rather than sneeze, allergies make their skin itchy. We call this skin allergy, a toppy, and Havanese often have it. Commonly, the feet, belly, folds of the skin, and ears are most affected. Symptoms typically start between the ages of 1 and 3 and can get worse every year. Licking the paws, rubbing the face, and frequent ear infections are the most common signs. The good news is that there are many treatment options available for this condition. Number 8 Havanese Exercise Requirements How much exercise does a Havanese need? Due to the size of the Havanese, they are rather low maintenance when it comes to exercise. As such, they only require up to 30 minutes per day. They much prefer to be curled up next to their owner on the sofa. Number 9 Havanese Velcro Dog there is a reason why they are called Velcro dogs. That is because they are very affectionate to their owners that they stick closely to them in any way possible. There are no boring moments if you have a Havanese in your house. These tiny tail waggers will accompany you pretty much all the time and can easily adapt to your lifestyle. Be prepared to watch where you are walking in the house. It's very easy to trod on a Havanese as they are always right by your side. Number 10 Havanese Therapy Dogs This is a very rewarding activity that the Havanese is well suited for. A good therapy dog needs to be calm, gentle, and friendly. These and other important traits come naturally to the Havanese. Dog therapy consists of programs and organizations worldwide that offer in-home or facility canine visits. Such friendly, cheerful visits can help lessen feelings of depression, loneliness, and isolation. Dogs don't care about things like age, appearance or infirmity, but accept people as they are. Many residents of care facilities have had to give up their beloved pets and greatly miss the companionship and unconditional love. Regular visits give them the opportunity to share feelings and thoughts as well as to reminisce about the past. The Havanese breed has proven to be ideal therapy dogs.